Shut up. <laughs> so much for it being quiet on this Thursday morning. But temperatures in the low 40s, nice. Feels quite nice out there. Get out and check it out. Yeah, well, from what I understand, with my limited knowledge of things, the weather's going to be changing a little bit over the weekend. It will. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM on a Thursday morning sports edition. And join me, as always, on Thursdays. Now, we're minus Coach Leg. And, uh, yeah, Coach Pugh now, the football season is over for them. But joining us today, two well-versed guys. Well, those guys couldn't be here, so these two guys are here. It's all about him. Shut up, Huddleston. No, Mr. LSU, him. Zach, we're going to talk a lot of football this first half hour of the show today. Frank, LSU, um, number three in the SEC. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about the Auburn game, about the big build-up coming to that. Frank, Abby, Brad, all in here. This portion of the show brought to you by Hometown Market. Five locations to serve y'all. Go by. Zach, ain't that where you shop every time you need groceries? I actually went in there before I went to Coach P's the other night. Uh, I went by there and picked something. Well, good. You need to be in there more often. That's where we shop. Now, of course, we get around to other places because it's a little bit convenient, but we'll get over there, too. So, hey, that's what's coming up today. A lot of things to talk about. Y'all know tomorrow's Friday. Special guest tomorrow. Miss Did, Melissa. Didn't she used to be in Playboy? She did. She used to be in Play, Playboy. What's your Zach? Melissa yes. Brewer will be here Maybe. tomorrow. From, Mrs. She's Miss New, Mrs. York, Mrs. New York now. America. This is New York, America. That's right. We have a photo. Yeah, she's from Athens. Right, Brad. We got a photo of her we with do. me. Oh, all right. Uh, all right. She was here about, what, seven years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the she funniest thing, though, I've given a tour through the house one day. Some friends of ours, he and his wife, was talking about Cassidy. Y'all remember my little boy? Uh, that he's seen so long. <laughs> and uh, there's a picture of him about seven, eight years old with Melissa. And they said, is that his mom? I said, no, if it was, I'd still be married to her. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Yeah, that's a long way from looking like his Probably mom. a little bit more brutal. Uh, anyway, she'll be here tomorrow. We've got some special guests coming. Brian right and the yeah, whole gang will be back tomorrow. I'm sure we'll talk with Stan McDonald about that miracle at Auburn that he was down there oh, to text me from. Miracle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Miracle. That was the luckiest play of football. Lucky. Well, well look, I, I guarantee you, we were at Coach Pease, and we wasn't yelling that other word. We were... It was, we wasn't yelling war. You wasn't yelling nothing. I wasn't yelling I, nothing. I, 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 was, I, I ran, out of the high, ran out of Coach Pew's house when I saw it. You did? Yeah, I couldn't take it. Y'all got well, it. Just, it just adds excitement to the game. Oh, absolutely. Week. How does luck go in with the football? It goes a lot because, you know, when y'all block that pun. Shut up. Let's go to the weather right now. Here's feet. Gloria with the weather. And Maddie may be in here for the little. <laughs> Look at that subject change. <laughs> uh huh. Right now, it always changes when it comes to you. Shut up. Oh, my God. Here's Gloria with a changing <laughs> weather forecast. Yes, it is. You better enjoy today. Next couple of days, actually, we're about 43 degrees, 44 degrees out there. And it feels quite nice. It was a little bit warmer than that this morning when we first woke up, but high temperatures today around 63, low of 49, partly cloudy skies today. You're going to see those clouds move in because we do have no rain to worry about today. However, tomorrow they have changed that forecast to 70% chance of those showers and high temperatures around 67. Yes, definitely rain on Friday. 30% chance of rain on Saturday. You know, uh, you know, I've talked to some of you that have, are going to the game in Chattanooga, so maybe the rain The game ain't in Chattanooga. There. The game's in Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa. Well, good. Thank Alabama you. would Thank never you. travel. <laughs> We would never travel to Chattanooga. Who told you it was Chattanooga? I did not say it was in Chattanooga. But he might be going to Chattanooga. <laughs> I said they're playing Chattanooga. I'm going to Tuscaloosa, Sarah. I'm going to Tuscaloosa. You're going to the game. Hey, and everybody needs to get out. They're I know trying to get little tickets away to that. Yeah. Listen to this, Jamie. This will be, I, just think about this. This will be A.J. McCarron and C.J. Matt Moses' last home game. <laughs> Alabama fans deserve to show up and, and give them a right. We were eyewitnesses when he played, got to play some lot down in Orlando for that. When they pulled them out after we had a 49 to nothing lead yeah. over Michigan State, we got to see the beginning. We got to see, see the, the We got to see the beginning. Shut up of the dynasty. L listen, Jamie, imagine it. What dynasty? Why have they been there? <laughs> Duck dynasty. AJ, CJ, Kenny Bell, Kevin Nord. They've only lost two guys. They've only lost. Thank two God for all those Louisiana wow. kids, y'all got because y'all suck if y'all didn't have them. Two guys. Hey, uh, AJ McCarron's in the new Sports <laughs> Illustrated. Should be out today. Nobody His chances cares. of winning the Heisman are what? Slim to none, none, probably. But he's going to finish. I've seen anywhere. He might well, he get invited. invited to New York. I think he will. Oh, yeah. Invited. I think he will. Said he Why could be he? the greatest quarterback in ever college football. Well, Cam Newton would be, right? Cam Newton, goes, Cam Newton goes that one year. Hey, you played a good football game. I still can't believe they beat the Patriots. Uh -oh. I'm glad. Hey, it's all about the Saints and Carolina Panthers and the Honey Badger. <laughs> Man, I'm a Patriot fan. Patriots. Man, it's going to be a, a, it's they used be a, to be a dynasty, too, right? We and Brady kind of stick together. Good-looking wives. You know, we kind of, you know. 
I like to watch Brady. A little bit of difference money wise. You like there, to watch but Brady. I bet you do. <laughs> Slight difference. <laughs> yeah, you're going to like it. you like to watch Brady too. Let me y'all all, all, all a question this morning. I didn't give oh. this to Brad to show because I didn't want him giving you the answer in your ears. Yeah. Brad oh, would never right. do that. Watch no. the newest. Let me get here. Let me see. Okay, you answer. <laughs> what is the, the declared word of the year for 2013? Obamacare. <laughs> yeah, selfie would be a good one. Absolutely. That's one I use a lot. Selfie? What? Selfie. No, Absolutely. I Absolutely. I just said the word. Is that? That's just the word. You asked me. It's absolute vodka. I mean, absolute. Coach Leg and well, I got to give out. I use that word all. Abby time. wins. All people. Very good. Abby. Selfie is the word. Is it, you got? Do you already know that? And who takes the most selfies that we know? Declared world selfie. Uh, is a huge me? jump in usage this year, bursting from the confines of Instagram and I Twitter to become mainstream <laughs> shorthand for any self-taken photograph. Selfie. Oh, so you win, Abby. You win. Abby, you win absolutely nothing. How'd you, get you a thousand know that? Points. They're good for nothing. She just took one yesterday of those cute ladies. I can tell you who the selfie queen up here is. Everybody's pointing at her. Everybody's pointing at me. See? Point at her. You ought to see some of the ones I get. At. See, I told you it was him. You ought to see some of the ones I get. You think <laughs> that I accidentally bad. send them to you? <laughs> yes, you accidentally sent well, them to me. Yeah. I got them on my hand. It wasn't an accident. I just want you to see what I was, you I I see what I was looking at. <laughs> you better delete. Huh? All right, the other thing, talking about... Uh, Zach, don't give me that such a serious look there, man. You know, <laughs> he's, he's, thinking, he's thinking about you know, a yard show like down in Tuscaloosa. You Tuscan look like you're ready to jump off the edge of your chair there. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> what about C.J. Mosley for Heisman? This is Kevin yeah, Skaminski's article. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't argue one bit. That he's got 81 is. tackles. Second is your guy, Landon College, the second on the team with 37. He's got, I mean, uh, C.J.'s got 37 more tackles than the second place person on our team. Everybody, everybody keeps talking about, you know, losing A.J. on offense is going to be devastating. Think about losing this guy, C.J. Mosley. I mean, he's end-to-end. That's -end. Yeah, why I think he'll be able to handle, handle when we do play. I'm, like I said, I'm still focused on Chattanooga right now. I'm part of the process. Zach, get hey, off of Coach Saban's from thinking <laughs> What do you about mean it. you're focused on Chattanooga? He wants to, he's trying to figure out how we are going to take care of Chattanooga about 4, 4.30 Saturday afternoon. I'll be focused on Auburn. Right now, it's all Chattanooga. I make the Auburn fans at work mad because they were all, all, all. If I thought there was a serious okay. concern that Chattanooga might beat us, I, well, well, if, well, if, well, was, if that was any kind of And this is no kidding. There, there's some guys I work with. They have been focused on Alabama since the, before the season started. They didn't get they, a lot. They the, only way they beat, weeks. the only way they beat Alabama is in the spelling and, and contest. So now I'm just driving them <laughs> crazy saying I'm focused on Focused on Chattanooga. Al on Chattanooga. Well, Zach, just in case you don't make it by here next week, let's just go ahead and put you out on a limb. I'm not going to feed you next week. So <laughs> I, know that, right I know that was used to be one of my favorite shows. So. Oh, I'll come to the house. Well, you get the Christmas show. Here what, do you, how much, what do you think the score is going to be? Let's just put you out there. Supposedly, say, let's say, let's go out on a limb and say Alabama beats Chattanooga. So now you're in. Okay. Okay. Right, we're 11 no. Okay, I, I can take it. Uh, we're 11 no. So what do you think? Now, Auburn, Auburn beat Georgia. Fair and square. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, th I saw a Notre Dame fan the other day and said I think I had a little luck of the Irish, little leprechaun right there running around. For uh, that. I don't think that leprechaun uh, had helped Notre Dame a whole lot. I think it was 37 of whatever early. What do you think? 37, right? 20 Alabama. 37, 20. That's not a bad pick. That's similar to what yeah. I was going to pick. What are you saying? I know you'll probably be here next week, but go ahead. You may change. But what's your bet? Auburn. Will I'll show up Wednesday. I'm gonna go with LSU's gonna beat Johnny Football Saturday. I think so too. too. I think we're gonna put yeah. his butt out. I bet y'all beat Arkansas too last game. I don't of the know year. about that. Now, we didn't beat Ole Miss, so I mean, y'all might, might win. Too. Ole Miss, you got a good point about Ole Miss will though. beat Missouri Saturday Ole night. Ole Miss will too. beat Missouri That's Saturday. That's my yeah. pick too. I got it on my Could pick. Damn. I've got my pick. All right, so give me your Auburn. Let's just start off with shut up making a bold prediction this morning. <laughs> I think it'll be. Um, I think it'll be a pretty good scoring game. I, I think Alabama wins by 11. 11? Yeah. yeah. Right. You got to realize who I go for always loses. So what does Brad, what does Brad say? Yeah. We'll get with Brad next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I tried, Brad. AL.com had a thing for you Auburnites out there. The other way, that was a great game. Auburn's had a fantastic season. There's no that? denying that. What about the coach? Five biggest moments in Auburn football history. Oh man, beating Alabama five times in a row. It's Mike Snyder's BCS run. Well, with the five times. Well, it was to put them in position to win that field goal. I'd already gone to bed then hoping Oregon is one. <laughs> no. Bo over the top in 1982. Oh, don't bring that up. You know, Bo was a Bama fan up until he got yeah, drafted. Yeah, absolutely. Pat Dye. 
And when I interviewed, uh, I paid him a lot of money. When, when I interviewed uh, Bobby Wallace, he recruited him. He said, when I, he was here at Athens a couple of months ago, that, that was the, and to this day, Bo Jackson was the greatest athlete he'd ever seen. He's, I he think well, I mean, is. If he, if he hadn't got if he hadn't got hurt, I mean, all right. At number three, Brayer Jordan Hare this past Saturday with this 25 seconds go. Yeah. Boy, them two defense backs got to be the two dumbest defensive players in the world right now. All you got to do is knock the ball or don't even touch it. He overran the ball. They sh kept showing ESPN. Yeah, you no, know, the ball was underthrown. And uh, so he was already past it. But I mean, great guys, good good ball. Ball. They're all they're, all they're, they're thinking about is grabbing that ball and getting that interception. I mean, ball. Lewis, made, Lewis made a great play. I mean, it's just no doubt about it. One I remember listening to on the radio, punt, Bama punt, December second, oh. 1972. I was a little young. Same guy blocks it, same guy picks it up. We had them 16 to nothing. What? Uh -oh. Had them 16 to nothing. They beat us 17-16. Two block punts. And next to Sanders, this is 1993. Auburn trailed Bama 14 to 5 late Damn. in the third quarter. Stan White went down with a knee injury. Patrick Nix came oh, in. Oh, I remember that one too. They won it 22 to 14. Uh -uh. I think the best ones when they come back and beat y'all won a national championship that next uh, day. That ain't even listed. Well, I, I, know, I don't know why y'all was up 21 well, tell you, 24 to nothing, I right? Tell you 2000, that ain't even listed. I tell you, 2013 will <laughs> make the, fight, the, the, the now, top five I, next year. I agree with Donnie. That was the worst game I ever watched in my life. <laughs> it was. <laughs> 24 to nothing. To get I, was in I remember that guy was in Louisiana. I said, crap, I can't believe they let. Uh, you can't believe it. Because we had beat y'all. We had pounded y'all that year. Uh, what about our schedule this year? Southern Miss will be on tight schedule. We open up. We got seven home games next year. Play August 30th. Uh, let me guess. Let me guess. West Virginia. Uh, wait a minute. Let him tell Let, let me guess. Virginia, no. Bob Jones, uh, let, Athens High School. Let open with, open with Florida. <laughs> if Mush Camp's still there. Boy, he's had all. He said, he's talking about some bad luck. They had a lot of injuries, but but Mark Ricks had a lot of injuries. But but they, you know, a lot of times though, they don't give you Georgia. two or three years, and boom, if you don't do it, you're Poor out of Georgia, here. Georgia, they always have injuries. Well, they got four losses now. Mm -hmm. I think so. I have, oh my goodness. Have no clue. Yeah, I think they got Zach, four losses. Down. Okay, so you keep keeping up. You quit keeping up with football once y'all season ended. I, no, I keep up with it because I'm like my picks are still doing good. What bowl game do you see LSU going to? The, the Music City Hall Bowl. I don't know. I'll be, I'll be there, it man. Depends what, it depends if we win this weekend and next weekend. I've won some teams. Nick so Saban is already, he says right now, he says that Florida State is the best team in the nation. Yeah. I agree with the him. The best team in the country right now is Florida State. Of course, Jimbo Fisher used to work for him. What I love reading more than anything is the comments that people make. I know. That is the best. That is the best thing to but, read. I mean, half, yeah, half his coaching staff probably just about used to coach with Nick Saban at Florida State. So you see Alabama, you're going to go out on a limb and predict Alabama's going to win national championship again this year. I'm predicting that. I'm I always predict win. that, Jamie. I'm, I mean, 16 will look very nice on, on my car. I, I'll take that 15 <laughs> sticker out. Hey, well, I had a guy, listen, I, I was riding down 72 the other day. Guy pulls up beside me at the light at Academy Sports. R roll your window down. <laughs> he said, roll tide, man. I just can't stand them guys. We're going to blow them out. We're going to win number 16, three people. He was going crazy. He saw my bounce, so I was like, that was pretty cool. That fired me up. That <laughs> fired you up. That fired me up. If you want to see rednecks, you ought to read some of the comments in Alabama-Auburn fans. I mean, y'all ain't playing the game, as I've said once before. Let me take a break. We'll come back here. We'll talk about famous Jameis. We'll talk about some other things, and I'm sure we'll get some words of wisdom from uh, – Zachary Zach. here. <laughs> yeah. You're watching Cooper Company on a Thursday morning. You can hit me up on my iPad at countryrover at gmail.com. I got a lot of things to talk about. We're going to talk about Black Friday coming up next week. Some stores are even open on Thursdays. Okay. But right now, let's take our first break of the day. Y'all, hang on.